Hello YouTube, Ninja Midget here, and this is going to be the complete disassembly of the M1951 Brigadier. Now this is the Egyptian version, which was uh, licensed from uh, Beretta uh, to the Egyptian government for them to produce this, and um, it you can tell it pretty much just looks like a like a Beretta. It's got that open barrel design. It's a little greasy right now because I just got done. Uh, taking it down, cleaning it, and lubing it up because it was dirty as hell. But, nice gun. Of course, do the safety check. Even though I just finished taking this thing apart and putting it back together. But there it is. So, of course, you start off first and you do a field strip. This comes down with this pin right here. This, uh, this, um, little, it's a pin that pivots and you get it into this orientation right there flip that forward and off comes your slide you gotta take the magazine out first unless you're a dumbass like me and forget there we go now it just slides off <clears throat> okay we'll set our frame aside now comes your spring your guide rod and then you can just go ahead and lift the barrel up and out it can be a little finicky on these pistols to get it out. Basically you gotta push the uh, plunger in the front up so that it lifts the barrel up and out. So it starts like this and you go ahead and push it until it clip, flips up. And there you go. Right out there on you. Okay, now for uh, the thing that you need for uh, removing both the firing pin and uh, the extractor is just one pin that's holding it all in and it's this pin right here this pin interestingly because it's in at an angle it has to come out from the bottom so what you do start off with a good size pin start hammering it out It starts coming out and then I had to go to a smaller pin since it's kind of a tight angle in there so that I could hammer it out a little bit more get it to the point where I could actually grab onto it and <laughs> came out pretty easy on this one because uh, I've already taken everything apart and cleaned it up so after that comes out you just go ahead and lift out your extractor there's your extractor, then your spring comes out, and then here's your firing pin. And that just comes straight out like that. And I go ahead and leave this spring on because it turns out one side of the spring is a little tighter than the other. I had it on backwards and it didn't want to go back in the gun. So if you put it together and one side of the string goes on real easy, um, at least what it meant for mine is it's the wrong side and you gotta put that tighter end on um, it's just somehow that's how it fits in the gun and functions okay so alright so that's it for the slide now on to the frame so the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to take your grips off those just strip off, strip off with a couple of screws and these are on there kind of tight. That doesn't seem to like my screwdriver, so we'll try a different one. a little bit of prying to get them off. There's cheapo plastic grips. There we go. So there's your grips and your screws. 
Now, your magazine comes out just like this. It's just a little screw head here. Your magazine catch just screws out like this. It's not in there very tight. And there's a spring in there, but it's not under a lot of tension. So you lift that up. And then this is what it was screwing into. This is your magazine catch right here. So that's the way that goes in the gun. Okay, now, <clears throat> next, I'm going to go ahead and take this screw out. This screw is holding in your, um, your uh, slide stop spring. So what you're going to do is go ahead and it's a little short screw. And this is under some spring tension, so you want to hold on to that and make sure it's not flying away on you. And then this is inside a little hole down here. There's a little hole right in there that that spring slides out of. And from there, you can go ahead and just lift this up, give it a little bit of a wiggle, and it pops out. And that's also your, your trigger pin right here. So, there we go. Now, let's see. Oop, that little screw. Don't want to lose that little screw. Okay. Now, let me see. What next, what next, what next? Um, okay, well, we might as well tap out our takedown lever. This little thing right here. And all that, uh, all you got to do is give that a push. Comes out this side. Then... What we want to go ahead and do is we're going to drop our hammer. And to do that, you want to kind of manually get your trigger in this position so you can push back and drop the hammer if <laughs> it's going to work for me. There we go. doesn't work as well when it's not actually inside the gun. So, okay, <clears throat> there's that. Now, what you want to do is this little spring down here. This is your spring that's both for your sear, and it's the spring that puts spring tension on your safety. Right here. So, what you want to do is you want to grab some pliers. You're going to grab that spring and lift it out and up and over. And it's a little bit of a pain because it's kind of hooked inside of a little channel here on the sear. There it goes. So there's this little spring down here that is hooked in just like this. Now that that spring's out, we have to get some more pins out, but that will allow you to, that releases your, uh, your safety. Okay, so now let's go ahead and yeah, we'll drift out our hammer pin. So we'll go ahead and get this hammered out. When the hammer in the forward position, it is under a little bit of spring tension. Not, not a whole lot, though. So you don't have to be too concerned about it going flying on you. Flying. Don't ever want to do that. Okay, so I got that pin out. I just go ahead and pull your punch out. A little tiny bit of spring tension. Out comes your hammer. Then you can go ahead and lift out your hammer spring. And there you go. Now we're going to go ahead and tap out our pin um, that was holding that spring. Let me see here if I can get a good close up of this. See, there's a little notch on that pin. And that's where this side of the spring went. It went in just like this, and it was held on that notch. 
So this pin has to come out in this direction toward the notch. So go ahead and get a smaller punch. Give it a few taps. It doesn't take much. And it comes right out. There we go. Now that is going to allow you to take your safety out. There's your sear. And now your trigger needs to come out along with the trigger bar. And to do that, I'm just going to pull it down so it's away from uh, this bar right here. Pull it straight back. Pull it straight back like that. And it just tilts up and out. <clears throat> and then this slides out like this. There is a little bit of a taper on it so that it stays in the gun. So you don't lift it out. you got to slide it out of there. And that's it. That's the complete disassembly of this gun. Um, one of the things you can do um, that's not really necessary is if you put this in a vise, put this piece in a vise, you can push down on this and you see how you can turn it and it'll come off there. Uh, it's a very stiff spring, so if you don't have to take it off, uh, don't bother. You, you can clean it you know, on a sonic cleaner or just with a toothbrush and some degreaser or whatever oil it back up doesn't need to come apart same thing with the trigger bar um, there is a spring in there and it's a fairly strong spring no need to really take that apart um, unless you are doing something with the trigger bar um, same thing with the magazine I never take the magazines apart unless I'm having feeding issues um, so that's it uh, I thought this was going to be a little more difficult to uh, to take apart and it's actually pretty simple to put together too so uh, be looking for the uh, assembly video coming soon. But that's it. The complete disassembly of the M1951 Brigadier, the Helwan version, Egyptian version. Um, all right. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.